I've been thinking of getting into CNC for some time, and last weekend in the Chicago <clears throat> area, I live about 50 something miles west of Chicago, there was a Rockler store that was closing and they were having a sale. 50% uh, off, except on tools. I figured, well, let me go to the store and see what they've got. What I was, what really grabbed my attention was that they did have some CNC machines, themed next wave machines. Towards the back of the store, there were two machines, two of the higher end machines, the 500 series, and they were even on sale. They were still well over $2,000 if I remember right. So I asked the guys that were there and I said, well, do, you, do you have anything else? And they said, well, yeah, there's one at the front of the store. So they took me up to the front of the store and showed me an SD100. Now, the original price on it is the price tag is still on there from the store it's kind of small in this but it was 12.99.99 1300 bucks and they had it on sale for a little over a thousand dollars i don't remember the exact price but at a thousand i was interested so i talked to them and spent some time going back and forth and pretending i wasn't that interested uh, and then finally we came down to, they gave it to me for just over $900. I think it was $909. Um, so I, I think I got a, a pretty good deal. I built a little a stand for it and I had up, you can see some of the uh, accessories down there. I built that uh, just two by fours in plywood. It's 24 inches wide and about 30 inches long. And so I get it all set up and broke the guy code and actually read the instruction book, went through it. And anyway, I had some problems at the very beginning. There are about five projects already included in the software that come, that runs the uh, that runs a machine. And uh, so you can get started right away and one of them was this welcome sign i don't know how well you can see it because it's uh it's just carved but that's one of the reasons i bought the machine was to be able to do carving the uh, I, I tried running this program and there's an air cut and what the air cut does is it runs the program but without the but above the like a, an inch above the surface of the wood so you can see where the router is going to go and so there won't be any surprises you won't have a clamp in in the way of where the router is going to go or anything like that well the air cut ran fine but i couldn't get it to run the, the real cut it was driving me crazy it was late saturday afternoon there was no way i was going to be able to get any help on this uh, the guys at the store made it clear that they weren't really experts and didn't know very much about the machine at all. And by then it was, they were probably gone for the day anyway. So, uh, just, to, uh, I sent an email to Next Wave support and I also left, uh, I called them, I think, what, late Sunday night, mon early Monday morning. Uh, to tell them the problem I was having and they never got back to me. So next wave you need to uh, improve your customer service a bit. Um, so hopefully somewhere down the road I, if I have to deal with you again I can report that you're answering calls and emails. But, but in addition to th this there is the Vectric software also comes with the machine and it comes in this little box which is kind of cool and uh, the software is on a thumb drive. So I installed that and there's a long, long code, the uh, license code, and it's 10 fields of six characters each, combination of letters and numbers. I entered that and I, it, it wouldn't work. It, it was kept rejecting it, telling me there was a problem. Well, I I tried everything I could think of. Uh, then I decided. So I wrote an uh, I wrote an email to Vectric. Now Vectric is in England, so I figured if I send an email on Sunday night, because of the time zone difference, uh, it wouldn't be very long before they got the uh, 
before they got the email and replied to it. So they replied to it, but again, the time zone differences when they, re by the time they replied to it and I was able to get to it, uh, it was, they weren't open again. So anyway, long, the long story short, I took three emails, three emails back and forth, but I finally got everything working on the uh, Vectric software. Uh, that's the long story uh, but I just wanted you to, to wanted you to know that if you plan on getting into CNC, that expect some frustrations up front. They might be different than mine, but you're probably going to have some little bumps in the road. All right. I went once. I figured out the Vectric soft. And Vectric, by the way, has the software has some very good uh, training uh, involved, so you can learn how to use the software. And they even have a free trial. You can download the free trial, learn to work the software before you buy a machine or, or buy a machine that doesn't have software and you purchase the software from Factric. Uh, they've been very helpful and their training materials are excellent. I went back in and I, this is the first thing I made myself. Uh, this was, it, I've got it saying Bob's Home Wood Shop. I used the carving feature and I carved, I, rather than just the outline of the letters, I carved them in. Took a little bit longer, but it looks cool and it feels nice because it's, uh, it's carved into the, into the wood. So that was my first project and I'm pleased now that I'm able to get things up and running. So, <clears throat> you will need some bits, the only, you get a one bit with the machine. Uh, V-bit. I was I've been doing some research because I wanted to get into this, and so I thought, well, what do I need? You're going to need a uh, either an upcut or a downcut spiral bit. Uh, this is a quarter inch, and you'll you'll need a quarter or an eighth, and a bowl and tray bit, and a V groove bit. I got these three from Andy Bird Builds. Andy Bird has a good website. He's really gotten, uh, he's really putting out some good information on CNC lately. His is at a much more advanced level than I'm going to be doing probably. I'm going to aim this like I aim my, uh, <clears throat> like I aim my scroll saw at a beginner or an intermediate user. Anyway, I bought these three bits from Andy's site, and uh, I think from what he says and from what I've read, uh, you can get by a very, very large number of projects with, with just these three bits. They were, they were uh, just under $100. Uh, obviously, that price won't hold forever. I don't know what they'll be, but it, it uh, means they're good quality bits. Don't buy cheap bits. Uh, they probably won't last. Uh, but you also, from what I've read, expect you will either, you probably wear out or break bits too. So uh, know that you're going to be investing a few bucks along the, uh, along the way with the router bits. I'm recording this last part from my retail store rather than from my workshop. I want to add a few comments to the end of my first video of the Shark SD100 CNC machine. Rather than wait until I can get in the shop to record this, I wanted to record it sooner. I'm finding the learning curve to be more difficult than I anticipated. So far, I have invested a lot of hours with few tangible results. Vectric training is good, but I have to watch some of the videos multiple times before digesting the next step. I think, okay, I've got this, only to get partway through the process before I'm bogged down again. I started bringing the laptop I'm using with the CNC to the store with me. This way, in between customers, I can watch training videos, then work on immediately putting what I've learned to work on setting up files to run on the machine later in the workshop. I had been trying to learn during the day and then go home to apply my newfound knowledge by creating and running a file. When I bogged down, I was at a standstill until the next day. Though the Vectric videos are good, I can't be the only one watching them and still stumbling. My plan is to put together some videos that will take an absolute beginner from unboxing their CNC to making a project as if they had an expert standing right next to them to guide them every step of the way. Hey, really, really need comments from viewers so I can plan videos that will be as helpful to as many as possible. Are you thinking about getting into CNC but dread the learning curve? Or have you already started that getting, you're getting bogged down? 
Maybe you're already so good at this stuff that you think I'm an idiot because I couldn't figure this out all in one weekend. So please leave a comment. Do you want me to continue to documenting my CNC journey and hopefully help others along the way? If so, are there any beginner level questions I can work on answering as soon as I can?